In this video, I'm going to show you a deep dive into the best bomb in Madden 23. We're going to be talking about clear out SC out today, or clear out, or, uh, clear out FLN today, actually, not SC out, uh, out of the Washington playbook. If you want to learn how to run this play, how to master this play, make sure you get my Washington uh, or join my Patreon so that you can get access to my Washington offensive ebook. Uh, covers the bunch, the bunch open tight end, the tight. We're also working on adding some five wide stuff in here, as well as the normal wide off close. There's a lot of really good stuff in Washington this year. Uh, but without further ado, I want to dive into what I believe to be the best bomb concept in Madden. And we're going to show you how to bomb literally every coverage and how to adapt this play um, so that you can actually use it to defeat other coverages as well. So uh, what we're going to do here real quick, the best way that this works from a bomb perspective um, is we're just going to come out in man. Uh, we'll get into man coverage in just a minute, but I want to first start showing this uh, against zone coverage and why it's so good. So clear out FLN. You need a slot apprentice for this, but you can get a slot apprentice for pretty cheap right now in Ultimate Team. So all you're going to do is going to put a corner route to Julio Jones. And then from there, you have a couple different options of things that you can do. You can um, you can just leave it like this. The main reason why this is so good, especially on the short side of the field, you'll notice that when I'm to the short side of the field, this is going to be really good against a deep half adjustment. So you'll see right here maybe, um, if I don't get shedded, you will see that if I run a cover two, so I'm just going to run a cover two, we'll put the middle linebacker in a third, we'll zone out, and then what you'll see here is this C route, uh, well basically, you want to free form it, pass lead it to the outside of the deep half. What happens is in, uh, in this game, the zones are based off of a grid system, right? So deep halves are playing um, a certain type of grid. Now, I want to show you something really, really important uh, about this concept. So let's say that I run this to the wide side of the field, not the short side of the field, but I run this to the wide side of the field. You're going to notice that this fade that was really good against cover two to the short side, to the wide side, you'll see that this deep half actually plays it a lot better, and we need to check down to our corner round. Obviously, the corner round is still really good. Um, but you see that it's harder to beat cover two um, to that side of the field, to the wide side of the field, okay? Now, uh, one of the most popular adjustments that people like to do uh, with their match coverage is they basically like to deep half. If they, if they don't deep half, or even if they do deep half to the side, we're going to be able to bomb match coverage over the top to the short side. But... If they deep half and they're to the wide side of the field, which we'll show you here uh, in just a second, you're going to notice that this deep half adjustment is going to work better, okay? Uh, it's going to work significantly better. So again, I'm going to flip my play so that we're to the wide side of the field. The same exact route combination that was able to bomb uh, match coverage to the short side with a deep half. You'll notice to the wide side, if I deep half here, he actually is going to play this pretty decently, as you can see. That's a click on interception, more than likely. Okay. Um, so with that in mind, now what I want to do is go over um, another type of coverage that you're going to see, which is cover four drop with outside quarters. So the cover four drop coverage, if you take a look at this, we're going to run this to the short side of the field. And you're going to notice that we can still kind of get this over the top, but it's a really tight throw. And I want to cover um, why this is so good against cover four drop to the short side, even though um, it's it's actually better to the wide side. But I want to show you how you can fit this in. So what you're going to see here is, again, I can't stress this enough. Madden is based off of a grid. So the grid that this guy is on is on track for this guy. You'll notice that this guy is going to be a step behind because the corner route at the first is in his grid. Now, once he runs a corner and this guy starts to fade out, he's going to come into the grid of this outside quarter. However, this inside quarter now has to be responsible, as you see right here, for this streak. So what it does is it leaves this window right over the top. It's basically literally just passing it straight over the top of this coverage, and you're going to see that you're going to be able to hit this. I'll show it again. Again, this is a very, very tight window against cover four drop whenever you're running this to the short side of the field, but um, you can still certainly hit it. So again, I'm here. I'm looking right there, right when he splits the safeties, and you see how easy it is to throw a pick on this. So you got to be a little cautious with cover four drop 
if you're reading cover four off the snap as well as cover three, which I'm going to show cover three in just a second. Um, EA did patch some of the effectiveness of this play from a cover three perspective. Uh, but let me show you this. So again here, you'll see if I pass lead straight up and over top there. You see, see, how, you, see how I'm able to kind of really pop that in the seam. The idea is essentially these zones, when they're in cover four or cover three, it's very similar. Um, when they are in cover three or cover four, these zones are going to kind of take one false step and you're passing this straight up to get it over the top of the zone. It's a free form straight over the top of the zone. You are trying to get it over as far out in front of the receiver as you can, okay? So now I want to cover cover three. So cover three is, um, you know, used to be this was a little bit better against cover three than it is right now. Um, you'll see the corner route is open, but again, you see that false step that that outside corner takes that allows us to, again, elevate the ball over the top of the uh, defender. So again here, you'll notice that with this corner route, when that corner route cuts to the outside, it's a real fine point here you'll see he's going to take one false step outside and we're going to free form it basically up and inside and as you can see you can bomb every zone in the game with one route combo which is really powerful um and so what your opponent's going to do is they're going to start playing man to man uh and there's really two forms of man to man there's press man and then there's shaded over top man if they are playing press man this is still pretty decent you'll see right here that we'll get these natural picks and rubs and a lot of times one of your fades on the outside will be open okay um the other route that is like open that you need to at least like consider throwing if it is man to man the fades will sometimes be covered but your route to your slot receiver um is going to be open to the outside you can even like, ag it or you know you want to be able to at least have that as a read okay so because if you don't then they can kind of shut this play down in man to man it's the best zone beat in the game and there are ways to make it better against man one of those ways is to c route your solo wide receiver so this will give you kind of a little bit more of a consistent read against man to man is the c route over here so if they are running man to man you can corner route this guy c route your solo receiver whoops like this and then the c route you see is wide open against that coverage so then they have to kind of adapt their man-to-man -man coverage obviously we want to be snapping this as fast as we can but now we start to get into this game and chess match where they have to put an outside third over there as they have to put outside thirds over there, you can mix in this little baby drag route as well as kind of a, a backside check down. Now, this fade is a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Um, and I will tell you, another way that you can get this open a little bit better against man is instead of corner routing this outside guy, just drag him. And then you can see route this guy on the left or whatever you want to do on the left. Okay, but what you'll see is this will create a natural rub. And a lot of times this is going to now be kind of a one on one. We know how good ags are this year one on one. So Murphy Buntley is actually playing fairly well on this. Uh, so I want to show you something else. That is the wide side cover four piece of this as well. So we've shown you how to beat cover four to the wide to the short side, cover three to the wide or to the short side. And we're going to now show you. This is cover four to the wide side. So cover four to the wide side is really easy. You're just going to free form over the top. The grid system is going to allow that outside quarter, again, is going to suction to that to that defender. And then that inside quarter is going to struggle to handle, um, you know, the outside, uh, the outside uh, movement of the fade. So here again, here's cover four. This time I'll press it up. And what you'll see is same kind of thing. You see how that outside quarter is still going to flow that direction and this is going to be wide open now you can bomb cover three to the wide side i will say it's kind of honestly similar um, to what we were doing on the other side so we'll just show you here and i will unbase a line uh, to give a little better alignment for this so again the corner route the same basic thing you see here right off rip um 
he's going to get a step over the top, and that's Jamel Dean, who I think is 94, 95 speed. He's pretty fast. And you see how we're able to easily kind of handle cover three, cover four to the wide side. The major issue is cover two to the wide side. For whatever reason, it's ironic to me that cover two is actually this good to the to the sideline. Now, again, you can hit the corner route, and, you know, you can just take the corner route. But you'll see right here, like, there's not a great window to hit that against the cover two. So... My favorite thing to do with this is give myself a backside C route if I can, uh, just in case they are indeed in man-to-man. -man. Um, if you know they're in zone, then you can just quick snap this play and you're going to have a lot of fun with it, right? But if there's a chance there in man, I really, really recommend putting the C route over here. That's just going to be a very good read for you to have um, if for whatever reason they are in man-to-man in your corner route doesn't get open um, and then again i recommend running this to the short side of the field it's a little tighter of a window for cover three cover four but it's so much you can still hit it against those two coverages and then against cover two this thing is just absolutely going to torch cover two so uh this is probably one of my favorite plays in bunch every year and this year is no different there's other setups of course the beauty of this play also is let's say that they are running cover two i want to show you something kind of neat you don't need the corner route so you can just if you want to you know again give yourself maybe some extra pass protection or whatever you want to do you'll notice that this fade is still going to bomb cover two without a corner it doesn't need a corner route to get over the top so if you're playing let's say for example you're playing db fire two uh against dollar and you want to give yourself a little bit more time to make a read you could do something like this and now you're able to have you know a, a really nice opportunity to get a one-on-one -on -one. if it's man um we know how good again the ags are i would re you put deep out a lead on this it's really it's really good so anyways that's clear out obviously we can go into a lot more detail and we do in our ebook if you want to learn more about this play more about this offense in general how to run it at a really high level make sure you join our patreon ten dollars will get you access to all of the ebooks and we've got two different bunch ebooks out washington we also did one on pittsburgh we're going to be releasing a brand new one here uh, in a couple days. I think we're taking a look at West Coast next. And then we got a couple other bunches that we want to share with you guys. Um, bunch is such a powerful formation. And depending on the playbook you run, the formation can I've actually or, um, can surprisingly change significantly. So anyways, with that in mind, if you want to get the bunch ebook, link is in the description below. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And hopefully we'll see you at the Patreon page.